Welcome to another InfraSco training video. In today's video, we're going to cover advanced backup policies. So what is an advanced backup policy? How do I configure one? And then how do I assign it to a device? First, let's get into the dashboard. So what's an advanced backup policy versus a basic backup policy? Well, to show you, let's go right into our devices view. Then let's select an account. We click Manage and then Configure Backup Jobs. I'm given three different options for what to configure. I have my basic smart file scanner policy here. And we have a different video of how to set up policies that way. Then we have the folder backup, which is the more advanced policy. And really, you're given retention policy options at a folder level. And that's the advanced part. And then you have bare metal backup, which we also will get into in another video, uh, also in the Partner Resource Center. Getting into setup folder backup, the difference is here, and rather than a policy based on scanner settings, we're going to make policies based off of specific folders on a specific machine. So if I select select here, it's actually going to browse the folder structure on the device. There we go, and then I can select into this. Let's just go into this E drive. And then we'll just use this selected path. OK, so we're going to select the whole E drive. Next, we have different retention policies to add. So we take this drop down, and we have replicate, which is going to mimic whatever is on that drive. So anything that's removed from that drive will be removed from the cloud. So that's, that's all it is. It's a, it's a replication or a mirror, a sync, if you will. Then you have forever save. This is the standard InfraScale backup policy. It means we never delete anything automatically. You get free version history and this sort of thing. Archive, this means that as soon as it's backed up to our cloud, that it gets removed from your local device. This is helpful if you're trying to clean up some old servers. Um, maybe you have folders that you've already kind of filtered through that you know are old, and you can just get it off that device. Time limited backup, this is a backup that will run and after so many days it will remove the file from the local machine. Then you have cloud retention policy which is probably one of the more popular ones. You can come in here and say you know what after three years uh, if a file hasn't been modified then go ahead and remove it from my cloud backup. Uh, most of the times we find that our customers have compliance which is closer to now, seven to ten years, so you can do that here too. And then you can you know, skip files modified you know, more than three years ago. And that's it. And then you put your frequency, hourly, daily, weekly. And that's it. And then you also have an option for the end time, so your basic settings. But you can do this for a number of folders, and then you can continue to add new folders with different types of retention policies, or you can just remove them altogether. You have your email report, per usual, and then if you have specific credentials on that machine so that you want to run it even with the users not logged on, you can do that here too. And that's it for advanced backup settings from the dashboard. For more information, please visit our support at infrascale.com slash support, and we look forward to hearing from you. Thanks, and have a good one.